Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Forever Flowers. I just thought I'd pop back to show you how to make one of these paper carnations. Um, I made this from a Tim Holtz die that I cut out the carnation shape first. Uh, this one is tattered florals. Um, the die is called Alterations. And the number is 666640. You need to cut out about 15 petals like this. And once you've cut them out, you need to curl each petal individually. And I use ha a skewer, uh, depending on how tightly you want the flowers, the petals rolled, you could use a pen, but they seem to turn out better if you use something smaller. So just curl it around the skewer a couple of times. If it rips a bit, it doesn't matter because that's not going to show once they get into the flower. All right. Once you've done that, you need to take a little cocktail stick or something just to make holes in the middle of them all just to put them onto the wire. Right, then if you take your wire, and where have I put mine? I've got one here somewhere, there we go. Right, what you need to do is just bend the end over and it gives you more surface for the flower to stick to. And then just take your glue gun, I'll just put some more glue in there. And then put some glue on to the end of the wire. Right, the next thing you need to do is take your first petal, poke the stem through, pull it up to the top, and then the first petal, you're just going to squash it all together really tightly. But hold it onto the wire so that it sticks well. And that's going to be your base for the rest of your flower to stick to. It doesn't really matter what that one looks like because that's going to be right in the middle of the carnation. Right, the next one, you need to thread it onto the wire. And then, oops, let me just pick up my glue stick. Right, so thread it onto the wire. And then, Yeah, it's starting to fall out again. Right, now, you need to put some glue around the base of the flower. And just push the next petals up onto it. And push that quite tightly as well. And you need to do, I'd say about three or four like that. That's what we've got so far. Push the next one onto it. Just glue in the same way as before, just a little bit round the whole flower to give it a good surface to stick to. And then just push that one up onto the petal too. Right, and then just carry on like that. Putting glue on each time. None of that glue shows because that's under the, the tighter petals. And just push that up onto your flower. The next one. These are good in. Um, bouquets or you can use them as a buttonhole as well. Right now as we've got them that's quite tight ones for the middle and then as you go along now you want to not push them quite so much together. So put your glue on again the same. these up onto the 
flower. It's a little bit looser this time. And then just carry that on. And probably about four more. Just put the glue not so far up the flower so that it's going to be out further. And then as you put them on, just level them up so that they're between the petals each time. So they're not all in a row together and it just takes them for more of a flower shape. That's two there. And then just glue around the back like that. There's a bit on every petal. And pull it up onto just turn it a little. Like that. And then just carry that on until you've got your desired amount. On that die there is one where you can make like uh, smaller carnations as well and two other flowers so it's quite good value and worth buying really and then just carry that on in the end you should have a carnation that looks something like that there's the one I made before it's a little bit tighter I think but yeah. that's basically it they're easy to do right, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon bye